Hello everyone, in this tutorial we will learn the view resolver in Spring. So first let's see how the framework even figures out what view template to use when responding to the client's request. Before you, you can even see a view, the framework needs to do something to know what view to show you. In Spring MVC, it's the job of the view resolver to determine how a logical view name received from a controller maps to an actual file asset. There are variety types of view resolvers. The internal resource view resolver is the uh, most popular one. For instance, there is something called a resource bundle view resolver which lets you put a view name mapping in a plain text property file. You also have option of using XML view resolver. And if you like to use a Spring XML file to define all of your view resolution mapping, then you can do that. Now I will show an example of the internal resource viewer. We have a controller class called a greeting controller with a method called hello, which returns a string value called hello. So in the dispatcher.xml file, we have a being called internal resource view resolver. So it is an implementation of view resolver in Spring uh, MVC framework. Uh, so it uses a prefix and suffix to convert a logical view name returned from the Spring controller to map to actual physical views. For example, if a user tries to access slash hello URL and the greeting controller returns hello, then the dispatcher server will consult the internal resource view resolver and it will use prefix and suffix to find the actual physical view which is integral to the web application. For example, if the prefix is slash webinf slash uh, pages slash and the suffix is dot jsp, then hello will be resolved to slash webinf slash uh, pages slash hello.jsp by the internal resource view resolver. And now I will show an example. Uh, if you hit the URL slash hello slash, then it will return welcome to Spring tutorial. This is because uh, the controller returns the uh, string as hello. So if you change the hello to hello1, then we hit the URL, it will show us a uh, for not for error not found since hello1.jsp is not found. I hope you understand this video uh, if you like this video please uh, hit the like button and if you have any feedback please comment below and please subscribe to my channel for further videos